Hello and welcome to my first ever Football Manager 2020 YouTube video. My name is James and in this series I will be taking charge of the team that I support, Bristol Rovers, as I try and fulfil every football fan's dream of taking their favourite club as high up the tier as I can and hopefully winning a selection of trophies along the way. So here we are, Bristol Rovers today confirmed the appointment of James Williams as new club manager. So let's take a look at the team that we will be managing. Now here we have a welcome slide from our owner, Wael al -Khadi. And on the, here we can see the fact that Bristol Rovers play at the Memorial Stadium with a capacity of 12,300. That will hopefully give us a little bit of expansion when it comes to building our fan base before we have to look at expanding the stadium itself or moving into a new one. Training facilities, good training facilities, uh, basic youth facilities and fairly basic youth recruitment. Uh, now when it comes to playing football manager, I am very much about uh, building the youth so that is definitely something that initially when we look at the finances be able to see if there's any room for being able to build those up so we can start trying to uh, develop players from within we've got a two and a half star reputation now the media predict a eighth place finish uh, so when we actually get a look at the team and see what transfers we can make we'll obviously get a bit of better idea of whether we think we can actually achieve that this season. Uh, we've not got a director of football. I might bring one in anyway, as I do like to delegate some of the stuff to him. Um, and our assistant manager is Kevin Mayher. Now, this is the first look at our team. Now, according to the team report, best 11, we have Blackman in goal. Uh, at the back, we have Holmes, Dennis, Kilgore, Harries and Little. Uh, Agogo and Clark in midfield. Barrett, Matthews and Ginley in the attacking midfield positions and then Clark Harris the lone striker up front uh, and we've got uh, Blackman on loan from Chelsea uh, we have got Ginley on loan from Preston Mitchell Lawson on loan from Derby uh, Abraham on loan from Fulham and Nichols is currently out on loan at Cheltenham so it'll be interesting to see whether we want to incorporate those players in my squad when it comes to building the tactic or whether we look to move them on and try and bring in maybe some permanent signings. Now here we have the club vision and the club culture is to sign players under 23 for the first team. I have absolutely no problem with that. Now the board are looking for a top half finish which does tie up with the media prediction. Obviously the media prediction uh, of us being just outside the playoffs. Um, so hopes the board are looking for an improvement on the 15th place last season. Uh, reaching the third round of the FA Cup uh, and reaching the second round of the Carabao Cup. And uh, looking towards the five-year plan, uh, next season they want us to reach the playoffs. Uh, within three seasons, they'd like us to be winning promotion to the championship. Uh, so the expectation is really for me to be hitting the ground running within the next couple of seasons. So here we are, we've taken charge of Bristol Rovers and we've got all the usual introduction messages. Tactics, uh, the club vision and the pre-season preparation I'll be doing in the background as we've been discussing a little bit of that earlier. Uh, looking at the pre-season fitness report, uh, we've, had most, we've had some players come back in top condition um, and two of our players actually who were on the starting uh, best 11 um, have reported back injured so we'll have to um, keep an eye on those during pre-season. Uh, we've got the uh, selection rules which is fine. Uh, transfer window has now opened and then the introduction summary cool right so i'm going to delve in have a little look through the squad and the players and i'll be back a little bit later on so here's our squad so if we organize them by ability um so clark harris the striker on the best 11 is the best player at the club uh, followed by uh, blackman who is on loan and holmes Dennis, both of which are currently out injured blackman is out for four to six months with a broken leg uh, that's something we'll have to look at in terms of whether it actually would be worth us keeping him here or whether it'd be worth sending him back to his parent club and then we've got a damaged cruciate ligament uh, again the six to eight months we maybe have to looking looking at secondary options for left back or whether we look to bring somebody else in either on loan or as a backup signing and uh, then we've got ollie clark who can be uh, playing the defensive midfield role but also can play in central midfield and then we've got Chocola who is more than likely going to be our starting keeper uh, with Blackburn out injured for so long so if we then switch that to looking at positions so we've got a couple of right backs 
a nice selection of central defenders. Only got one left back on here, although we do have Luke Leahy who can play wing back. So we'll be looking to see whether he can uh, whether he can take that role or whether we look to bring somebody else in. We've got only two other players who can play in central midfield who may look to either bolster that from the under 23s or the under 18s. And then we've got a selection of uh, attacking wingers and then strikers. Even just having a glance, this looks like we're probably going to end up playing a 4-2-3-1. Or maybe even a 4-3-3 with a defensive, a defensive midfielder behind the central two playing two attacking wingers and then a striker up front. So I'll have a play with tactics and I'll be right back. So, having looked through the team, this is a tactic I've settled on. Um, as I stated earlier, I've referred to it as the 4-3-3, as the game calls it, the 4-1-4-1-4-1. And looking through the squad, uh, this is, I think, going to be the starting team, very similar to the one we saw in the best 11 at the start of the game, uh, with a few different amendments in terms of players available at the time due to injuries. Um, as you can see, I've also brought up a few players from the under-23s as well. Um, some of the best prospects we've got in there just to try and bulk out the squad and also I like to use the mentoring group so I'll be utilising that feature as well. We have got a couple of fairly major injuries. Um, unfortunately it doesn't allow me at the moment to actually send uh, these, some of these loan players back as it says it can't be cancelled in 28 days so we'll have to keep an eye on that during the summer. Um, Blackman in particular will have to go back as we're paying three grand a month for him and obviously that will be a, a big chunk of wages that we can put on towards another player and players like Mitchell Lawson and Abraham will probably going to look to send back as well as we do have youngsters in this these areas um, and I'd much rather develop those and use those as substitutes rather than having lone players on the bench. Now the only area where I think we are lacking a little bit is left back so that'll be something I'll be looking to do over the summer is bring in uh, either another left either left back on loan um, or bring in a either a youth prospect or uh, even established um, defender, depending on how much we've got. And in terms of budgets, so we've got uh, just shy of, of half a million pounds in the bank, which is good. Um, and then we've got a £50,000 transfer budget with a 40% transfer revenue made. Um, that's going to be good for when we sell in some of trying to move some of the players on, especially those that aren't necessarily going to make this don't make the squad, uh, or maybe those that are getting a little bit older and maybe want to move on and try and capitalize on some of their value uh, before some of their attributes start to go down. Uh, we've also got a little bit of wage budget left, um, but with moving on some of the players and with hopefully being able to return some of those loan players back to their parent teams, uh, we should hopefully be able to free up a little bit. We can also look at some budget adjustments at some point and maybe try and push some of that transfer budget into wage budget um, as I am a big fan of a free transfer. So if we look at the squad depth screen, we bring that up to say three stars. So these will be players that will be definitely be starting. Uh, we've got two strikers in Clark Harris and Riley. Um, I've just realised that is on 442. Let's switch it to our actual preferred position of 4141. But as well as I said, Clark Harris and Riley up front. Uh, we've then got Rodman and Barrett on the left, and then Rodman and Ginley on the right. Um, we have got a couple of youngsters who could play in these areas, so Ginley may get may be pushed back to his parent club. However, He's probably one of the very few I think I probably would keep around as an extra player. Are we actually paying any wages for him? We're paying a little bit of wages for him. So that will be one I'll have to look at later on. Uh, so two for midfield, Ollie Clark and Ed Upson. I'll probably look to bring at least another one, if not another two. Although if we do bring the filter down, we do have a couple of players. Although I do know that Agogo is yeah, 29, um, Circum's 29, uh, and Matthews is 22. So he's got a little bit of potential, so he is a good development option uh, but with a go-go and circum on two and a half and pushing uh, 30 uh, they may be the type of players that we might look to move on if we can make the right moves in the market. Uh, in defensive midfield we've then got Clark and again uh, a go-go um, who a go-go will probably actually then use as the backup 
defensive midfielder to Ollie Clark. Uh, along the back, um, slightly concerning, we've only got one left back, um, three stars and above, and it is Holmes Dennis, and he is currently out for several months. Uh, we've then got uh, Harry's Kilgore and Davis as our back back two, which is good. So we've got a couple of players there, maybe look into the under 18s or maybe bring in some extra backup defenders, central defenders. And then we've got one uh, right back in terms of Mark Little. How if we do drop it down to two stars, we've then got Hare, uh, Kilgore, central, central defender. So we might look to maybe bring in another right back or use one of our youth. And we definitely need um, some left backs as well. And then in goal, uh, so Blackman more than likely will be going back with obviously his injury. And so we've got Jakarta. Um, however, we do have Armstrong, who I've brought up from the under-23s. He's got a little bit of potential um, at 19 years old. Whether he reaches that, I don't know. Um, maybe I may, uh, will look to bring at least one, maybe two uh, additional goalkeepers in, as there aren't many other options at the club. So, in terms of assistance report, um, so looking at it, picking out some highlights. We've got good natural fitness, um, and also I believe I remember seeing her on. We had about good stamina, good good stamina. Um, so we're going to be playing a, a quite quick paced counteracting system um, based on this tactic. Um, determined to committed, which is always good because we're going to ex expect a lot from these teams in terms of keeping going for the full ninety minutes. However, in terms of weaknesses, again, left back is an area which I did pick out earlier. Um, definitely more. I think. Def, I think generally, I think depth is is a little bit of concern um, in this squad at the moment. It is paper thin in places. As I said, we don't have much in the way of budget left, but we are looking to move a few players on, and, and with those loan players going back, hopefully, we'll be able to get some wage budget out of there. Um, and there are some areas, especially if we're tackling, is a concern. If defensively, we're going to be um, we're going to be taking a lot of pressure using this tactic, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring in some more defensive players or, or upgrade the, the players that we've already got. So that is everything from this episode. Um, next time I'll be back will be uh, the first game of the season, Black away at Blackpool. Uh, I'll run through the pre-season uh, offline, and I'll go through all the ins and outs in terms of transfers, comings and goings, um, and give you guys a roundup of the position we are at before our first game of the season. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos as and when they come out. I'll be looking to do these videos three times a week, uh, right up until the end of FM20. So it'll be interesting to see how far we can get for Bristol Rovers. And thank you very much for watching.